Well, we see them driving all around our city every day. Tonight, a 2 News investigation uncovers some RTA drivers broke the law while behind the wheel. Natalie Tindall is looking into those safety concerns and asks if there is transit trouble. Well, these drivers are paid to take you from one place to another safely. But we found some of them speed, don't wear their seatbelts, and run red lights. We took our concerns to the top two people with the RTA to see what they're doing about it. It could have been a bad accident. Michael Mullins could not believe what happened right in front of him while he was driving through Dayton earlier this month. His dash camera caught this RTA bus running a red light, and he was seconds away from being hit. And I didn't even see it, and all of a sudden, here comes this RTA bus that just went right through there. Mullins says he left a message with the Greater Dayton Regional Transit Authority about this incident, but got no response. So he turned to two news investigates with concerns about the safety of those on the roads and in the bus. Everyone who puts their fare in is trusting that person is going to get him to A to B safely. These buses transport millions of people every year to various destinations in the Miami Valley. And we found this wasn't the first time a driver has broken the law. RTA vehicles have been cited for speed and for running red lights at least 50 times since 2010. One was ticketed for going 52 miles per hour when the speed limit was 35. We took this video and our list of citations all the way to the top and asked two executives at the RTA about them. What's your reaction to that? Is that acceptable for a driver? So obviously to us it's a violation. You know, what Jim's people are doing is trying to get through the video to see if we could identify who the individual was. According to CEO Mark Donaghy and COO Jim Napier, all their drivers go through an intense eight-week training program before they get behind the wheel. They both say safe driving is a top priority, and out of the 50 citations we asked about, they say there were 33 disciplinary actions taken. Do incidents happen? Can they happen? Sure. When you operate eight, nine million miles a year, you're, you're going to have an incident or two. Donaghy says citations are rare, and his drivers have to maintain a pretty clean driving record to even be employed. Two News Investigates found the violations don't stop at speeding and running red lights. At least uh, a third of the drivers that uh, uh, I ride the bus with are not belted in their seats. RTA passenger Michael Griffey didn't want to show his face on camera, but says he's been keeping track of every time he sees a driver without a seatbelt on. In the past three months, he says it's been more than 15 times. Uh, if a bus driver is not strapped in, a bus driver can be knocked out of control of the bus. He's right. It happened this year in Philadelphia when a bus driver who was not wearing her seatbelt slid out of her chair while making a U-turn, losing control of the bus and nearly hitting a train. Are drivers required to wear seatbelts? Absolutely. Have you had any issues with that? Yes, we have. Okay. Donaghy says all their buses have an alarm that dings when their seatbelts are not latched. He says some drivers are getting around that by fastening their seatbelts behind them like this. He says that is not acceptable, and drivers who have been caught are going through disciplinary procedures. So they're basically responsible for the lives of themselves and all the people sitting behind them. So our position is you must wear the seatbelt. RTA management says they're always looking at new ways to improve safety and are considering orange bands that go around the seatbelt so it's easier to tell if a driver's wearing one. Another concern we asked Donaghy about was the RTA management encouraging drivers to speed in order to meet their schedule. He says it wouldn't make much sense to tell them to speed because ultimately they're responsible if a driver got into an accident because the RTA is self-insured. Safety first, schedule second. Donaghy believes overall his drivers follow the law. He says they have tough jobs and are trained and retrained to be safe. It is our highest priority, always has been, uh, always will be. You know, are we perfect? No. Uh, but. We're getting as close as we can. Mullins hopes drivers slow down and remember that anymore breaking the law is not as easy to get away with. They're going to start to realize we're in an age of video. There's cameras everywhere. Now, Donaghy says with more than 250 buses, they can't know about every single problem until it's brought to their attention. He encourages passengers and other drivers to contact them with concerns. Now, we've posted a link to their hotline on our website at WDTN.com. Natalie Tendel, 2 News, investigates.